Hey friends, do you own a cell phone or some other kind of mobile device? Do you use social media at all? I'm gonna guess that you answer yes to at least one of those questions because you wouldn't be watching this teaching if you didn't, right? So, nowadays, we can connect with people all over the world in a matter of seconds. Technology is amazing these days. And this pandemic really showed us that, didn't it? We could do church online from the comfort of our own homes and it turned into a real blessing for our ministry. But just like everything else in our lives, anything that's cool and exciting and fun like Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, those things can turn into unhealthy behaviors if we're not careful. See, I've been a part of social media for a really long time and I've seen a lot of unhealthy behaviors out there and even from people that I know. And yes, I too am guilty of that unhealthy behavior. So that's why I thought that it would be good for me to talk about some things that Christians should avoid doing and how we should behave whenever we have mobile devices and use social media. So the following is going to be a list of things that we should avoid doing whenever we're using those things. So number one, vent our anger. We shouldn't be using social media to vent our anger, friends. In Proverbs 29, 11, it tells us, fools show their anger, but the wise hold it back. So if you find yourselves angry for some reason, or maybe you're angry at someone, do not go to Facebook or to Instagram or some other kind of social media outlet to vent it first. Go to God first. God is the one that wants to help you and God is the one that actually will help you. So if you really feel like you need to talk to someone after you've spoken to God, then make sure that you go to somebody who you can trust, someone that you know is going to work through that difficult feeling with you, but in a healthy way. Number two, wasting time. Have you ever started scrolling through Facebook or like Instagram and you thought you were only going to be there for a few minutes, but then you see this like really funny picture or you see these cute pictures of dogs and then you get stuck and you end up being on there for like half an hour or even longer. It's happened to me. It's not good, right? Now, I am not saying that doing things like that, like looking at funny pictures of dogs is a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a sin, but it is a waste of your time, a waste of your precious time. In Ephesians 5:16, it says, make good use of every opportunity you have because these are evil days. So Ephesians is reminding us that we only have a limited amount of time here on this earth, friends that it doesn't matter what age you are, even if you're young, your time is gonna fly by. So use your time to do good things. Don't waste your time on things that aren't gonna get you anywhere. If you wanna know what you can do that is never a waste of time, do things that God commands you to do. Do things that you learn from the Bible. Share Jesus with somebody. Serve someone else that is in need. Love other people, be kind to other people. Those kinds of things are Never a waste of time. Number three, distracting. Now, have you ever seen a group of people sitting at the same table, but none of them are looking at each other or talking to each other because they're all on their cell phones? Please do not be like these people. It's a shame. It makes me wonder, like, why are they even meeting together if they're not going to even bother speaking to each other? I heard it said once that if you allow your cell phone to interrupt anything in your life, even if it's really important, then your cell phone is your God. That one really hit home for me when I heard that. And it's something that we should all consider. All right, so I gave you some advice on things that you should avoid doing whenever you're on social media or using your mobile devices. So now I'm gonna share with you some things that we can be doing, that we should be doing instead. Okay, so number one, we should use our phones to draw near to God. Since we use our phones all day long, I mean, they're easy access. They're usually in our pockets all day long. 
we can use them to draw near to God. We shouldn't have any excuse of that, right? I mean, we can use the phone to read our Bible. If we don't want to read it, we can listen to our Bible. We can watch sermons, different teachings online. We can listen to Christian music. I mean, the possibilities are endless and the list can go on and on. So we can use our mobile devices to draw near to God. Number two, we can use our social media to encourage and uplift other people. So whenever I'm feeling down or depressed, the quickest way for me to get out of that funk is to serve another person in need, to take the focus off of myself and my problems and turn my focus onto someone else. And a really easy way to do that, a practically effortless way to do that is to use social media. So why not reach out to somebody through social media or through your phone and uplift them, send them an encouraging word and you will brighten their day and it's gonna make you feel better too. Number three, use it to tell others about Jesus. So technology makes it possible for us to tell others about our amazing God in a matter of moments. And I personally, I like to do it by posting scripture of some kind on my Instagram or my Facebook page, but we can do all kinds of other more creative ways to connect with other people and share about Jesus with other people. So if you have time to share about your personal life on your social media, then you definitely have time to tell others about God. Let's pray friends. Lord, I want to thank you because you have made it possible for us to access this amazing technology and you showed us just how powerful it can be, especially during this pandemic. But just like everything else, because we are sinful, we can turn things that are amazing and great tools into something that's bad, something that's not necessarily healthy for us. So I ask you to continue to guide us all in using these tools in good ways, in ways to further your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.